All right, so you got your first dunk, and now you want to learn how to windmill. So that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today. Fight. Fight. What's up guys, we're back with another video for the Dunker's Guide. Um, I think that's the name I'm going to stick with is Dunker's Guide. So I made a second post already after the how to dunk. Um, I'm going to see if I can put a link to it in the video. Like, I think it'll be like right here. I don't know. Um, I made a video on how to get your first dunk. Then I made a video on how to make it in, be in the, but the <laughs> between the legs dunk. Um, which I actually meant for that to come probably after this video, but I accidentally already uploaded it. So after I upload this, I'm going to just switch the order and change the name. So anybody watching this after the fact that it's uploaded, it'll be in order. But for the guys that are going to see it when it's uploaded, it's not going to be in order. But moving on to how to do a windmill. When it comes to doing a windmill, I mean, your technique is important, but you can't, it's hard to see how fast you can do a windmill motion. It's hard to train that. Um, it's possible, but it's hard to do. So for one, let's just go over the technique as aspect. Um, I jumped left, right. In my last video, I said I jumped right, left, but I do not. I jumped left, right, I go boom, boom, and then I windmill with my left hand. So ideally, you just want to work on the motion. So literally all you would do is just boom. And this is actually, unlike the East Bay video, um, or the how to dunk. So with this technique training, you can actually put your steps into it and then do the motion. It looks kind of silly, but I mean, it will help you get used to doing the motion and actually learning how to windmill. So, you know, right, left, boom. Or if you do it with your right hand, boom. You just want to see how fast you can do it. Um, another thing is when you're learning how to do a windmill and you're going over the technique, this is important in a lot of dunks, but I'm going to emphasize in each video I do. Your offhand. So if I'm dunking with my left hand, you want your offhand to cram the ball into your other hand and push it. You got to give it the momentum. Unless you just have Kawhi Leonard hands to where you can just palm the ball and like do whatever with it. I cannot. Like I can I can barely palm it without it falling. Unless you can do that, don't worry about this. But if you can't, which most of you probably cannot, you need to use the momentum of your offhand to carry the ball into your dunk. Boom. So basically what I recommend, which of course you can do as many as you want, the more you do, the easier it will be. I recommend three sets of 25 of just, you can add your steps into it if you want. You don't have to, you can just do it straight up. But I guess for the more advanced version of it, you add your steps, boom. Make sure to use your offhand to carry the momentum, boom. And you do 25 of them. Now, if you really want to get advanced, you get a weighted ball. And what you would do is you would do the first two sets with the weighted ball, boom. Then you would, on the last set, just use the regular ball, ramp it up to 25, maybe just do a burnout if you want to do that. Um, that's what I recommend, but of course you guys can do more. The more you do, it's just money in the bank. You guys are gonna get better at it. It'll come become more familiar. Now, somebody may have the technique of doing the windmill, but they're not jumping as high. So something that actually helps me and probably a lot of dunkers jump higher is throwing a lob. I don't know what it is. I'm not a scientist, but when you're throwing the ball in, or you throw a lob and it bounces and you go to dunk it, it just, it gives you something to reach for. So in a sense, you're jumping as hard as you can on that lob because you got to try and reach for it. So if you're just trying, you know, off one leg or off two legs, a windmill and you're not making it, try doing a lob and 
you know, if you, you have to go reach for it, so you'll jump higher. I, I mean, it may not be the same with everybody, but from what I've seen, people do jump higher off of lobs. And if you find that you are one of those people that jumps higher off lob, but you're still not making it, work on the technique, you can still do technique training for a lob. Um, you know, three sets, 25, or five sets, 50, however many. Just take the ball, bounce it. Now, unless you're really advanced, you can bounce it and like catch it with the hand, you're gonna do the windmill. So I'm doing mine with my left hand. So I'd catch it then, boom. But I can't, I can't actually do that on a 10 foot rim or even a rim like this, I don't think. Um, I'm not that advanced. So ideally, you wanna use your off hand to transfer the ball to your other hand. So you do the bounce. For me, I would be, my off hand is my right hand. So off the bounce, grab it with my right, then transfer it to my left. And it would look like this in full speed. I kind of lost it for a second, but. And it's kind of hard to, you know, if you're, you want to slam it down for one. So, you know, slam it off of the, the motion. And then as it comes back down, boom, just go right back into it. Rep that out. You can add your approach so you can go. I'll do it again. Um, something else that will help learning the dunk, I'm gonna recommend this in all of my videos. For one, I forgot to mention, get you a low rim. Now this is the like really advanced version of how to practice this technique. And it'll be like this for every dunk I show. Get you a low rim that you can reach and that you can get your wrist above. Um, for me, this is a little bit higher. So to do the wind, windmill motion, I'm gonna have to get on my toes, maybe jump a little bit, but that's fine. So you just practice the motion. Wow, you get the point. Three sets, five sets, however many you want to do. Um, rep it out because it's going to help you guys a lot. All right, what's going on, guys? Um, I didn't really do an outro for the video, but uh, this is basically what that is. I um, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what other videos you guys want me to do on dunking technique. You know, anything you want to know about dunking in general, just let me know. Leave it in the comments. If you want me to do videos on other things, just let me know. I enjoy you guys' feedback. It uh, helps me. You know produce content that you guys like so just you know let me know what you guys want to see and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out